Okay, so hello everyone. This time I'm going to be teaching you on how to add the undead burst animation into a building. Now when it comes to burst animations, I'm more or less gonna rank them according to different difficulties. The easiest one is the night of burst animation and if I were to rank them, the second easiest one will be the undead one. The next one will be the Naga, and then you have the Orc, and then finally the hardest one will be the Human Burst Animation. Well, that's at least for me. So anyways, going back to adding the Undead Burst Animation, we're going to be adding it to the Nerubian Ziggurat model. So if you notice, if you open the model, you only have four original sequences the stand death and decay and portrait so first things first you need to save it as a mdl file what we're going to be doing is that we're going to add the actual sequence so here we have the MDL file opened as a notepad and then the thing is when it comes to most of the in-game models the standard is that the sequence lasts for around 60,000 so in this case what we're going to do is we're going to copy the stand animation let's set it here and that what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it between 3,333 and 6,333. Okay, so as you can see here, it's between the portrait animation and the death animation. And then don't forget to set the sequences to 5 because you've added a new one. And then you save. Now, if you try to open the new model, I'm going to set it back to default. So, as you can see here, you, oops, I forgot something. Well, actually, we can just, I forgot to set it to birth. So, if you open it here, here. So, as you can see, this is the one for 3,333 and 6,333 so let's just set it to birth and then set it to non-looping and then click OK so now we have the burst animation so first things first we can now set it burst animation so unfortunately as you notice there seems to be a bunch of stuff popping up so the next step we're going to do is we're going to remove the background from the portrait so if you notice in the portrait background you have this thing so we want to remove it you look for the appropriate geoset animation so here it is this is the geoset and this is the, its appropriate geoset animation so what you do is during the burst animation that's the three, three, three you're going to be removing it okay then after once click okay now you will notice it no longer appears now you will notice there seems to be some smoke now that smoke is actually the smoke you see during the decay so uh, if you notice it explodes and then you see smoke so this is actually the decay smoke so again for the burst you set it to zero and you click ok and then you go back to the burst animation again no more smoke now you need to make sure that you also set some other stuff into zero so for example this is the lighting make sure you add the one for birth and 
then check for the other particles okay here we have another one set it to zero okay now the next step will be to set some of the textures now if you notice the undead building doesn't appear immediately instead it kind of teleports into location so and it initially appears as transparent for the transparent effect we're going to be using the necropolis as a basis so if you click on the geoset animation of the uh, necropolis you will notice that it doesn't appear until 4,400 uh, 44,800 okay now by the way it just so happens that the burst animation of the necropolis also happens to fall under the same uh, time slots but you may have to make the necessary adjustments depending on which is the range you chose for your burst animation so in any case since the burst sequences are the same for both models i'm just gonna copy some of the stuff here so So this one's easy because again we're not doing any edits on Zim uh, geoset himself so there's only one geoset for the entire model and then you set the okay so what happens is that again during the beginning the model doesn't appear first now for the transparent effect go back to the no 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 that's the transparent effect so go back to the geoset animation and then if you notice for the android necropolis some of the parts have this uh color animated tech so if you go there you will notice that there's an edit for the uh, slot of the burst animation so what you do is you copy it and recall that it's under the Bezier interpolation type so again go back to the necessary geoset animation use color and then click animated interpolation type bezier add it and then there so if you notice it's sort of turned green because these numbers kind of represent the rgb coloring scheme so r this one stands for the g and this stands for the b so if you notice when z necropolis building first starts to appear it's kind of color green now for the actual transparent effect if you look if you click on the parts of the undead necropolis you will notice that the texture there are actually two well at least for the non-colored parts so click constant color and then for the first texture what you do is you set it to transparent as well two-sided and then for the time you will notice again i'm just going to copy the sequences because it just so happens that the burst animations of the necropolis and the nerubian cigarette i set are the same so i'm going to copy that portion set it to linear Okay, and then I'm going to add the next one. Again, use the same texture as the original one. This time, add alpha, two-sided, unshaded. 
Yes, and again, I'm going to copy this portion. Okay, so it's a bit shiny now. So unfortunately, if you notice, it's shiny as well as in the other animation. So we need to again go back and this time for the second texture, the one that's set to add alpha, we need to add Z sequence numbers for the other sequences and then set it to zero so decay oops portrait and then finally stand again make sure it's in order and then you set it to zero okay so there Oh, and by the way, if you go back to the Geoset animation, you may have to, again, copy, just copy one of these. Actually, let's just copy one. What you're going to do is you're going to copy for the default and then add the same amount as the number of animations. Oops. So if we can go back to so the stand is at 67. Portrait is at 667. Birth, uh, it's already death is at 65. And then decay is at 240,000. Okay. So don't forget to save. Now, most of the changes are now covered. Now, the next step is you add the portal things that appears first before the actual building. Now, in terms of sizes, if you notice, the Nerubian ziggurat in this case is more or less similar to your undead ziggurat. So, we're going to be using this as the... Um, sort of the basis now if you go to the Nerubian ziggurat you will see an attachment called the burst link so what you do is you go back to the node manager right click then create attachment and just copy the burst link here then check for translation rotation and scaling Again, since the Nerubian ziggurat is more or less similar to the Undead ziggurat, you might as well set the scaling as the same as it. So in this case, scaling is at these values. And then again, our birth animation in this case is at 333. For this one, the birth animation is set at 33 to 60,000. So for the Nerubian Secret, we need to set it to 3,333. Now, in order to link the actual portal thing, oh, so as you can see here, you know, see the effect, and then as time passes by, it becomes more opaque. Anyways, again, go back to the burst link. You will see this so what you do is you copy this path over here and then the next step is to make sure that for the visibility again it should only appear during the burst animation so what you do is at the beginning of the burst animation you set it to one and then at the end you set it to zero okay and then again you need to set it to zero for the rest of the sequence uh, so for the death animation portrait and stand okay
Okay, so it kind of looks nice. Now, unfortunately, the Magos model or editor can't really show the portal thingy for undead uh, buildings during the summoning. So, you have to import it first into the world editor in order to check if it worked perfectly. Now, first things first, once you're done, you need to save it as the MDX file. Okay, so just to be sure, I'm gonna save it again. Okay, now for the world editor, you need to save it as a, or rather, you need to import the MDX file and then save. Now, for this one, I've more or less preset it already, so recalls that the Nerubian Ziggurat is a crypt building. But please take note that when you're going to make um, buildings be summoned like the undead, you need to set the race into undead. Okay, and then make sure that the one summoning it is also under undead. Okay. So for this exercise, I'm just going to set the build time to 15, so it doesn't take too long during the testing. Anyway, so for the art model file, change it to the new Nerubian Ziggurat. Here we go, Nerubian Ziggurat. And then we have it here okay again you will now see here in the world editor video player what it looks like so you can see clearly that this is the portal that I'm talking about so unfortunately the Magos editor can't show it but at least at the level of the world editor you can already show it of course we want to see it in game so what I'm going to do so I'm going to add I'm going to add a unit which can summon it and then we're going to and then we're going to test it together. So this is the accolade maybe. So I'm gonna save and then I'm gonna test. So um okay I'm just gonna set it now. Okay, so we're back. So this time we're I going to be obey summoning the building and see if it works i will be done okay there we go i bow to your will i wish only to serve thy bidding master summon gladly is obey complete. okay so that's enough. my fate is sealed where shall my blood be spilled? Yes, master. My fate is sealed. Thy will be done. My Summon fate is, is complete. My life for Nezul. Okay, so I hope you get the gist of it. And if you have further Summon questions, just ask me in the comment section or you can ask me at the forums of the hive workshop website so i guess that's it for now